Welcome to the Shattered Crown SMP Season 2. Sadly, the previous season ended just after I made my previous video on it. And we started back this, well, started up this server about a week ago now. So we've had about a week to make a bunch of things on here. And yeah. I would have made a video earlier, but I had problems with my voice, aka I had an inflamed voice box. So I'll also show a clip of what I sounded like with that, because we had a f <laughs> there are a few things that are probably going to end up being running jokes throughout the entire season due to that. So let's cut to me making my base in a the form of a time lapse because now I can do that since we are on 1.14.4 and I have the replay mod now because we couldn't use that in 1.13.2 because it didn't exist see you back at my base once that time lapse is over
hopefully you enjoyed that time lapse. So, as you saw from that time lapse, I've spent about a week building this thing so far. Some of this has been done on stream, other stuff's just been done off camera because I don't really feel like it's worthy to be on camera. But yeah, I've done a fair bit of stuff. As you saw in the cut between the last two sections of the time lapse, I swapped out the stone bricks for this. I feel it works better, but I'm still not 100% on the entire palette I'm doing because I want to change this out as well because I don't feel it works with what I've currently got. So feel free to give me some ideas about what I could do. I could do some polished andesite or something in there as well. It could work. But yeah, that's what I've currently got going for me. Got a bit of a storage system going. And as you can see by the blaze following me, we have a plugin on here that allows us to do this, which is the MyPet plugin. We did we do have the flying for the mobs disabled because the owner didn't really like having that on there wants us to only be able to fly with elytra so fair enough it's fine you can still glide with stuff like blazes though if you have them as a pet i also have some villagers ow i i constantly walk through the campfire it's just something i do all the time and like the previous server we oops map we have mcmmo installed again but the one, the new version for 1.14 is so much more optimized visually and gameplay related because it now involves stuff like kelp and bamboo and a few other things like seagrass etc. So yeah, got a few things going on, bit of a cow farm down there. Actually, I'll just go through and show you my villages that I have at the moment. Because I have a fair few. I need to move them, though, because they're tr constantly just taking each other's workstations at the moment. Because I don't have enough workstations for everyone in there. So, they are actually taking workstations from other villages. And then I can't trade with the ones I want to because their trades are permanently I have a good selection of villages in here already. And of course, I had to go with the Acacia villages because they look so good. Now, where is my first librarian head? There we go. He has Mending as his first trade, 16 emeralds, because I've been trading with him so much, and also Unbreaking 2. So currently he is my best librarian I have, although he's the only librarian I've really traded with so far, so there's that for a starter, but yeah. Gonna move these guys into my base once I've done a bit more, which is just over there. Uh, yeah, that's all I've really done at the moment. Something else I should also mention is I did not get this bamboo from a jungle forest. Well, a bamboo forest in the jungle. I got it from a shipwreck because they can actually have chests with bamboo in them now. Which is a neat feature instead of having to find a bamboo forest in the jungle. Because it makes it so much easier to get bamboo for a starter. Bunch of furnaces set up that I was just using for smelting things like that whole ton of glass I have down there. Good thing I have a desert just over there, and I've also got. I think it's. Uh. Yeah, level 428 excavation because enchanted shovel in the desert is just ridiculous. Where is that zombie? I heard a zombie just fall down and take damage. Where the hell is he? Where, where's the zombie? I can hear him. Uh, oh well. Let's ignore that for now. Yeah, so so far this is what my dwarven kingdom is. Which is why such a grandiose entrance here. 
This area is going to be much, much bigger. I wanted it to be further back there, but uh, that's the edge of a mountain and it goes out over ocean, so I'm going to have to restrict my distance. Oh well, it's fine. This will be plenty large enough for what I have planned. So yeah, basically down to there and up to about that height for this entire section should be enough. Stairway down on each side. This will be a bridge coming all the way through to the other end. I'm also going to have a stairway down the other end. Bridge going off to either side on this part as well. So then I'll have possibly two or three levels in here. So there's the top section, bottom section, and possibly a middle section. Definitely going to have to have pillars throughout this acting like they're holding up the roof because otherwise it just doesn't look right. I also started with this room with making it just straight wood and then I was having difficulty figuring out where everything was. So I came up with a pattern design in here for it. So this is the nether section. This is stuff like ores, andesite, diorite, granite, gravel random stone building blocks, dirt, sand and glass are in this section, and sandstone. This is the plants and farm section, mob drop section, both passive and hostile, and then I have nothing, 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 and then all the different wood types, and I think I have bamboo in here somewhere? Yes, I have bamboo in here. So the bamboo is in here, not over there, because I don't have enough different types of chests over there. And this one's just for stone and cobblestone, because I need a lot of chests for that, especially considering the size of this area. So yeah, that's all I really have at the moment. But yeah, sorting out a proper palette for this would be great, because... I just winged making this, and I have no idea what I'm going to do next, because, yeah, for obvious reasons, I winged it. I need a plan. I could plan out more of this, but I haven't gone into creative to do that yet, so I need to do that at some point, but yeah. Ah. Let's sleep real quick. Okay, that's a problem. I didn't realize that would do that. Um, oh yeah, we also have clear lag on here because we've had a lot of lag issues. I'm not too much of a fan of that because when you die, if you die just before the timer, all your items get deleted that you lost when you die. But we don't really have much of a, much control over that at this point. Potentially going to have stuff to sort that out, but yeah. Can't really do much about that. I just noticed that that does nothing on this. Oh, hello, zombie. Where's that enderman? I need to kill it. We need more ender pearls because we haven't done the ender dragon yet because we like doing that as a full event. Where's the enderman? Hello? Oh, hello. I've also done three raids in my village, but now we have raids disabled because uh, we discovered... Oh man, that's dark. We discovered that uh, pillagers were what was taking... Well, making it extremely laggy on the server. So, raids have been disabled. I'm not sure if pillager patrols are fully disabled yet, but... I think they might be, but people have said that there's villager patrols spawning around places, so I don't know. <sighs> I just slept, woke up, and then after I had moved my campfire, obviously when I got out of the bed, I bumped my cat into the campfire, and she died. <sighs> First pet death of the season. Yay. 
discluding all the my pit deaths, of course, because they don't really count. Because they just respawn. Rig your oh dear, this ghast there. I don't really want to fight you at the moment, ghast. Please go away. Don't look, don't look, don't look. Cool. Can I please get another pet? Well, another cat model point. I want a new cat again. Oh yeah. All the noise when I come through here. Definitely gonna have to lower the villagers' sounds in editing. Okay, is there another cat around here at all? Please say there is. I know another one will spawn at some point because my previous one did. Damn it. Because, yeah. Sapphire went up in flames. I'm so sad. Because I, I hadn't had my cat for that long either. And it just walked into my camp. Well, got pushed into my campfire. It sucks. It's always horrible when your Minecraft pets end up dying. Aww, oh, I don't think there are any more cats around here just yet. Damn it! Ah, I'll just have to come back later, I guess. One other thing we do need to do soon is make a guardian farm. Whoa! Why did I take damage coming out of there? That's not normal. Yeah, one other thing we need to do soon is make a guardian farm. Thankfully, Octorok has found an ocean monument near his base, so I don't have to follow the directions of the Ocean Explorer map I got from my cartographer because I have no clue where that takes me. Where is the map? There it is. Because yeah, it takes me down southeast. Sorry, southwest. And I don't know how southwest because I've come quite a wee distance. And I don't really want to go after that. Especially since Octorok's already found one, so there's that. But I think that is going to have to do it for this episode. So see you soon enough when I've done that. I also do stream this on Twitch quite a bit. I've been mainly streaming this recently. It allows you to see more frequent updates on stuff like building this, and everything, collecting all the resources for this. Well, I don't always do that, but yeah. Most of the time it is. It's also other things like adventuring, digging up the entire desert. There is a zombie down there. I hear another zombie. Well, see you next episode. Oh dear. <laughs> All hail the holy clay. May the clay be with you, my child. Someone please clap that.